Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? Hope it's fantastic. In 2020, I called my collection of over 400 games down to about 75. Today, we're going to talk about one of those games and we're continuing the two-player series. Uh, and today I'm going to, I picked a game that I don't want to say I'm embarrassed about, but Well, here it is. It's Domino's. I absolutely love Domino's. The thing is, I've never played Domino's in real life. I play a lot of Domino's on my phone, uh, but I never, I've never found anybody in real life that appreciates the game as much as I do. Now, I got introduced to the game of Domino's uh, while in the Marines. I mean, I had played Domino's as a kid or whatever, but in the Marines, there's, you know... A large group of ethnic, um, a large variety of ethnic groups, and I got introduced to Domino through Domino's, to Domino's through a lot of those groups, going to cookouts and friends' places, and a lot of them like to play Domino's, and we played a lot of partnership Domino's, which is kind of a trick-taking type game, um, that is, you know, it's really really good, but that's not why we're talking about this today, and that's not why. This is staying in my collection because I have not played Partnership Dominoes since the Marines. So it's been over 20 years now. This is staying in my collection. You know, this is just some of my collection. I have quite a few sets of Dominoes. Um, this is just some of them. Some of these have been given to me by friends. Um, I think this was given to me by uh, my Polish friends uh, at Portal. These were my mom's or maybe my grandfather's. Um, this, is, this is just some of my collection. I think that two-player dominoes is a very tactical battle, and I mean that seriously. Most people I talk to about dominoes don't want to play it because they feel it's random, and it is. It's a very random game. If you don't know how it's played, you have a hand of seven dominoes. Uh, the person with the double six goes first. If there is no double six, the next highest double goes first. Uh, if there is no double in anybody's hand, somebody picks a tile and goes first. I, I, I think there's a rule, but I don't remember off the top of my head. So let's pretend like this is our starting tile. You can play off of either side. So you can play a six in this instance, or you can play a, one, a blank. I don't have any blanks. Uh, so I'm going to play a six, right? I'm going to choose to play this six because in two player muggins is the game that I like to play. You score points for multiples of five. Uh, you total up the ends of the dominoes, of all dominoes available, and you score points on multiples of five. So playing this, this means I have five points. If I played this, there's only one, I get nothing. Um, we go this way until somebody runs out of dominoes in their hand. So I get five points. Uh, you don't have a blank either, so you play this. Now it's four, nobody gets anything. I have a four. So I'm gonna play a two, it's two, nobody gets anything. You're gonna play a two. Suddenly, it's four on the end, so these both count. And now, if somebody were to play off of a side, like let's say I played like this, now the count is eight. But if I played like this, it cancels both of these. I know that's weird, it's just one of those weird rules. You can still play off of this, which means it's now seven, so on, so on. Multiples of five score. Uh, once somebody runs out of dominoes, the other player's hands are revealed, and you, the person who went out scores multiples of five in that person's hand. So you total up all the pips, divide by five. That's how many points the other player gets. Round down. Um, if you cannot play, you draw. So it is a very random game. That's that's the gist of how to play Muggins, or, or uh, there's other names for it. Um, but it's a very tactical game, right? Because there's only so many of each number, you can count and know, like, all right, uh, there's already four sixes out here. That means there's only three more available sixes. There's only seven of each number, so there's three more available sixes. Or, I'm sorry, there's six out here, so I know there's only two more. And I can keep track of that. I can keep track of how many of each are out there, how many I have in my hand, and I can guesstimate what you have in your hand based on how you're playing, what you're playing. It's a very tactical game, and while randomness plays a huge factor, I'm not going to deny that. I could you, could, you could sit down with the rules I just explained to you 
and you could beat me on some hands. That's just a fact of how dominoes works. But like, you know, counting cards at a casino or um, I guess that's really the only good... Uh, the player with the better knowledge of the game will win in the long run. And Muggins is typically played to a score. 500, 1,000, 1,500 to some sort of point range. And the the better player should win on that range of hands. Um, and if they don't, they will win a majority of games played, you know, that way. So it's a, it's a very luck-driven game, but it's also a very tactical game. And I think that's why I love playing it, because it gives me something to kind of... It's relaxing. Once you understand the game to a technical level uh it if both players are very highly skilled players the game is literally just waiting on somebody to make a mistake uh it probably won't happen if you watch high level dominoes nobody makes mistakes then it literally just comes down to the dominoes or it comes down to who gets tired and maybe they do make a mistake because they're tired um or maybe they try a play like there are ways to kind of like poker to try a play like well this is the better option but I'm going to try playing this this blank over here just to see what you do and that and, and it ends up that you have the one tile out of the remaining 20 that you know could screw me in that situation and you play it uh, so there are there are instances like that where it's not necessarily a mistake it's just I tried something that didn't work in my favor and sometimes you'll have to decide on you know playing two different dominoes because uh I I'm guessing what you have in your hand, and if I play this one, you might be able to score points. If I play this one, you can definitely score points. So I'm going to play the one that, you know, you might be able to score points, and hopefully you can't, and then we can riff off of that. Very tactical game, and that's why it's always going to stay in my collection, even though I haven't played with any of these in a very long time. This colorful set, I've probably played with the most recent, because my children like to play. Uh, we don't keep score, we just put dominoes down and we haven't uh, we haven't played it in a long time. We used to have SpongeBob dominoes <laughs> that we like to play with. I, I don't know where those are. I need to find those again because those were probably my favorite set of dominoes. Um, but there you go. Dominoes is one of my favorite two players, and I used to carry a set of dominoes in my um, my gaming backpack. Uh, I don't know that I have in recent years, but I used to tell people. If you find me a convention and you want to play dominoes, just ask. I'll always have it set on me. Uh, nobody ever asked. Dominoes. Absolutely one of my favorite two players. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Being amazing friends, wonderful people, I really appreciate you. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know to sound smart is litany. It is a noun meaning a prolonged and boring account. With the supermarket as our temple and the singing commercial as our litany, we are, are we likely to fire the world with an irresistible vision of America's exalted purpose and inspiring way of life? Adelaide Stevenson, an American politician. Litany, L-I-T-A-N-Y. I have no idea what I just read in that quote. That makes no sense to me whatsoever.